In this video, I will consider one numerical on Milman's theorem. Using Milman's theorem, find current I for the network shown below. This is the given circuit. Here we are supposed to calculate I, which is the current flows through 6 plus J8 impedance using Milman's theorem. So in Milman's theorem, we are supposed to calculate the minimal voltage Vm and the Milman's resistance Rm or Zm then Vm and Rm should be connected in series. To that series combination, we are supposed to connect 6 plus J8, then we have to find current I. So the first step in Milvan's theorem is, we have to remove this 6 plus J8 branch from the circuit. So this is the equivalent circuit where the resistance or the impedance connected between terminal A and B is removed. So with the same network, we have to find Milvan's voltage and Milvan's resistance. That is Vm and Zm. Now let me calculate Vm first. So Vm is calculated using the formula V1, Y1 plus V2, Y2 plus V3, Y3 whole divided by we have Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. So here V1 is nothing but 415 volt V2 is nothing but 415 at an angle of 120 degree and V3 is 415 at an angle of 240 degree. So here this is the Z1 associated with V1. Z1 is equal to 10 ohm Z2 is with V2 the impedance connected. So here inductive reactance we are supposed to use that is J10 ohm. So Z2 is J10 ohm and this is Z3 that is minus J10 ohm with respect to capacitance minus J with respect to inductance plus J. J3 is equal to minus J10. So Y with this we can find Y1. Y1 is equal to reciprocal of Z1 that is 1 over Z1 which is equal to 1 over 10 that is 0 0.1. Similarly, Y2 is equal to 1 upon Z2 that is 1 upon J10 which is equal to minus J 0 0.1 or Y3 is equal to 1 over Z3 which is 1 upon minus J10 is equal to 1 upon J means minus J. 1 upon minus J means plus J. 1 upon 10 is 0 0.1. So let me simplify this. V1 is 415 into Y1. Y1 is 0 0.1 plus V2 is 415 at an angle of 120 degree into Y2 is we have minus J 0 0.1 plus we have V3. V3 is 415 at an angle of 240 degree into Y3 is J 0 0.1 whole divided by we have Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 that is 0 0.1 minus J 0 0.1 plus J 0 0.1. So let me simplify this 41.5 plus 41.5 at an angle of 30 degree plus simplifying this it gives 41.5 at an angle of minus 30 degree in denominator these two will get cancelled will get 0 0.1 so simplifying this further I will get so it gives 1133.80 at an angle of 0 that is nothing but 1133.80 therefore Vm is equal to 1133.80. So now calculate the Milman's resistance that is Rm. That is Rm will be equal to 1 upon 
y1 plus y2 plus y3 so which is equal to 1 upon here we have y1 plus y2 plus y3 that is nothing but 0 0.1 minus j0.1 plus j0.1 that is 0 0.1 minus j0.1 plus j0.1 that is nothing but 1 upon 0 0.5 1 is nothing but 10 so now let me draw the Milman's equivalent resistance so that is Vm should be connected in series with Rm so here Rn value is 10 ohm and Vm value is 1133.80 so here to this terminal a and b we supposed to connect this register 6 plus j8 in which the current is calculating that is 6 plus j8 is to be connected here 6 plus j8 ohm and current through this is i so now therefore I can write current I is equal to V by R that is Vm divided by Rm plus V have 6 plus J8 that is nothing but 1133.80 divided by Rm is 10 plus 6 plus J8 simplifying this we will get Im is equal to 56.69 minus j 28.345 or in polar form we can get the result as 63.38 at an angle of minus 26.56 amps so this is the current flows through 6 plus j 8 ohm and this is calculated using Milman's theorem here while calculating Vm and Rm we should remember that keep your calculator in complex mode as well in degree mode. This is for information. Thank you for watching.